Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a little bit of a story time and I'm sorry I was spraying some spray and my backdrop kind of got a little wet. But um, I am going to do a little story time about the time that I got scammed from um, or at sales. So I'm just going to get right into the story because it might be a little bit long. But um, when Juan and I first got married, we um, didn't have a lot of money at the time, so we bought some cheaper uh, rings, and um, we knew eventually we wanted to get like real rings one day, blah, 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 blah. So fast forward to Valentine's Day of us being married for like a year, um, he took me to Zales and he was going to buy me a, will, a real <laughs> wedding ring. So... Um, when we went to Zales, I told the guy that I wanted something that was like a princess cut or something like that, um, and that I wanted a square, I didn't want a circle, um, cut out, and I just, I wanted something that was cute, simple, but something that had real diamonds. So they were having this huge flash sale. I have already been subscribed to their, like, newsletter thing. And so they're having this huge flash sale and um, he took me to the case and he was apparently the jeweler there and he showed me all these rings and they were, some of them were very, very high-end Vera Wang rings and some of them were just, I don't know, their normal Zales collection or whatever. And um, he says, are you wanting like a sapphire? Are you wanting a pearl? Are you wanting a diamond? And I'm like, definitely a diamond. So he starts showing me, he says, what's your price range? We gave him a price range. And so he kind of took us to the area of like a section of rings that we can look at. And I had a coupon for 70% off any um, jewelry item at Zales. So we figured if we set our price range at a certain amount, we can get something and get 70% off of that amount. <clears throat> so he took us over to a case and showed us a bunch of rings. And I started pointing out rings that I like. And he was like, okay, yeah, this and yeah, that. And then I said, well, I have this coupon here. So what is this? What, um, would it work on these? And he says, anything in the store. And he goes, let me take you over to this spot. Took me over to the spot and pulled out the ring that I have in this box. So I seen it and I'm like, that is it. That is everything I've ever dreamed of. That is what I want. I want that ring. Is it diamond? Yes, it's real diamonds. And he came back with, um, he said that it was like $700 on sale. And then with my coupon discount or whatever, it came down to like, he, and he gave me like a manager special coupon discount thingamabobber. Red flags there. <laughs> and he ended up selling me on the ring for like a hundred, I think it was like a hundred and fifty or hundred and seventy-five dollars. I don't remember. And then he's like, um, do you want our insurance plan? And I was like, your insurance plan? What is that? And he's like, you get this lifetime warranty insurance thing on there. And anytime that your ring needs to be resized, you just bring it in and we resize it. Anytime your ring needs to be clean, it's all free. We just, um, clean it for you for free. And if you lose your ring, okay, pay attention to this. If you lose your ring, we will replace your ring. It's a great thing to have when you have kids, small kids, because they get your ring and they do this and they do that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's so nice. He's like, so if you lose the whole ring, we'll replace the whole ring for you. If you, re if you lose like diamonds in there. We'll replace the diamonds for you. If you lose the wedding band or the like other band, like blah, 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 so on and so forth. And just, he, he got me and I was like, oh yes, yes, I totally need this. I totally need this. Well, this is the ring. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. Okay. After I got pregnant, um, the ring started not to fit me anymore because I gained weight. So this ring has been sitting in this box for about four years. And um, this is the ring here. So it is just a simple, let me see if I can get this camera to focus on it. It is just a simple ring. It's supposed to be sterling silver. Um, 
I don't know if I'm going to get this to focus. I might have to turn the camera around. And this is the wedding band to it. So I'm going to turn this, um, turn the camera around and let you see it. Hold on one second here. Okay. So here is the ring and it's just this, it's literally what I've always dreamed of, what I've always wanted. So it's going to be really hard to even show you this because it's, I can tell right away it's not showing up on here. So that's the ring. So, so I was so excited. I was like, yes, I'm getting the ring of my dreams. It's everything I could have asked for and more. And you can't beat the price, like $175, blah, blah, blah. And you're right. Having a kid, I will, I know I'll end up losing a piece. I'll end up like, um, I don't know, something, something would happen to the ring that I thought would, you know, I'm like, you never know what can happen. Maybe I would fall off because I, I did get it a little bit bigger than what I would normally wear. And I was like, maybe I'll fall off my finger if I lost some more weight or something. Yada, yada. So I got the ring and I got the insurance plan. Um, about, I'm going to say probably about five months later, I had, this was, no, it was probably actually about three weeks later when the, when I, when the incident happened. So I took my daughter to a swimming party and I got in a swimming pool and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to take my ring off. But I didn't think much of it because he was like, you can get in swimming pools, you can get in hot tubs, blah, blah, blah. This ring is like the ring that you put on and you never have to take off ever. You can use it in a shower, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got him. I got in a swimming pool and I was like, oh, I should have taken my ring off. And I thought, eh, there's, who cares, right? And I just flung that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got it back. Um, I got in a swimming pool and I didn't think much of it. I was like, it's just, a, I was like a little three and a half foot swimming pool. So my hands weren't really in the water. She was like in a floating device and I just kept my, I just made sure to keep this hand out of the water. And, um... When I was getting out of the swimming pool, I picked her up out of her floating device, and this the ring did get in the water. Um, about a week later from that incident, I noticed that underneath the diamond, there was black. Like, I don't even know. It literally looked like if somebody had got dirt and shoved it in there. And I thought to myself, that's really, really strange. So, um, I'd also bought a cleaner. They'd convinced me to buy a cleaner for it. Like, And so I soaked my ring in the cleaner, and I went there, and I cleaned it up, yada, yada, and it didn't come out. And apparently that's the same cleaner that they use to, um, clean their rings. And I was like, that's weird. So fast forward about a couple months later, I went in to Zales when I was in the town, cause the town was like an hour to an hour and a half from where we lived, um, that I got the ring at. So I went into the Zales there and I said, Hey, I just wanted to come in and, get my ring cleaned and I don't know if maybe you guys can lift the diamond and clean underneath it or what can happen um because I went swimming and I had the ring on and it kind of it turned black underneath and the girl's like this is your ring and I said yeah and she's like okay and she's like you bought it from us I said yep and I showed her the paperwork of everything and that I had the lifetime warranty whatever whatever and so she's looking at it and she goes you said this was a diamond and I was like, well, that's what I was told. And I know nothing about jewelry, by the way, just so we can get that clear. Um, she's like, I'm pretty sure this is not a diamond. And she's like, I'm going to call my jeweler really quick. And I was assuming it was going to be, they said they only had one jeweler or whatever. And so I'm assuming that's going to be the guy that sold me the ring. And he's going to be like, um, you're crazy. Like, yeah, this is a diamond. Well, some other dude comes out. He's a really older gentleman. And he comes out and he says, Oh, a nice little ring here. And I said, yeah. She, she says, is this a diamond? And he's like, no. He's like, this is a white sapphire. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> and I was really irritated already at this point. And I was like, um, your gentleman who sold me this told me it, that he was the jeweler. And also told me that it was a diamond. And he's like, um, no. I don't know who told you that. And I was like, I don't know, his name should be on his paper somewhere, blah, blah, blah. He helped check me out um, at the register and this and that. And um, he's like, I'm sorry that you got scammed. And he's like, but this is a white sapphire. 
these little hoot ones all around here because I thought it was all diamonds, by the way, are also little white sapphires. And I was also supposed to get white gold. It was supposed to be white gold, apparently. And um, he told me it was just sterling silver. And I was like, oh. So I was really, really ticked. You could only imagine. So a little flash forward. Um, they cleaned it. They said there was really nothing much that they can do other than to open up all the prongs, which could cause some damage, and remove the diamond and clean underneath it, but that there, but that wasn't recommended. But, okay, and not underneath the diamond, underneath the sapphire. If you can see, which I don't know if you really can, but underneath here, there's nothing there. You can literally see the, the whole thing. There's nothing, like, I mean, you would, the only thing that's holding this in there that has some sort of, I guess, closed area is the prongs, but you can still see through the prongs. So they cleaned it up for me, didn't really do much, and that was the end of that. I was mad. I was like, I'm never buying jewelry again from sales, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, probably maybe about a year and a half ago. So I called Zales and I was like, okay, I wanted to, I lost this wedding band piece because the box had fallen out of my closet and this piece fell out and it rolled away and I never found it. And I was like, Ugh, you know, this piece just stayed in there. And um, I was like, yeah, I was wondering about getting the ring resized because I want to wear it again um, since, you know, it is my wedding ring and I've been buying like cheapy rings like off of Wish which if you haven't seen that video, I will put it up in the iCard. I don't remember which side it is. I think it's this side. But um, I bought like a couple rings from Walmart and I bought a couple little rings that are like from Wish and stuff like that to have. And um, yeah, so I've been wanting to wear this and she's like, okay, well, um, she said, which ring did you get? And I said, I'm not sure. Let me read you off the number. She says, okay. And I said, um, and then I told her, so I was wondering about getting the replacement for it. And she says, yeah, that'd be great. And she goes, the price of that is X amount of dollars. I don't remember what she said. And I thought to myself, what? And I was like, what are you talking about? I have the lifetime warranty. And she goes, okay, cool. And I was like, they told me that if I got the lifetime warranty, that if I lost a piece, it would be replaced, so on and so forth. And she's like, um, no. And I was like, oh. And she's like, your lifetime warranty is just so you can get it resized whenever you want to or get it cleaned whenever you want to. I paid like $90 for that lifetime warranty just so I can get it cleaned and resized whenever I want to. Like I could do that anywhere. And she's like, and you could get, she's like, I mean, obviously you can't get an unlimited amount of resizing. And she's like, cause you know, the band would get damaged. The ring would get damaged after a while. And I'm like, are you serious? And she's like, yeah, I'm serious. And I was like, so what if I lost a diamond sapphire on it? And she's like, um, well, she's like, well, if you lose a sapphire or a diamond or whatever your, your ring is, she's like, you can pay to get a new one um, placed in there, but you have to purchase the sapphire and then we would place it in there for free. And I'm like, are you, are you really kidding me? And she's like, no. And I'm like, you know, I'm really angry and I told her like the entire story and she was like I am so sorry that happened to you but if you want to come in and buy a new ring and like tries to sell me on a new freaking ring and I'm like are you serious like I couldn't even believe that after like all these four years had I never needed to go in there and get it, I never got it resized and I never lost a piece until that time that I still found out that I was even scammed even more Compared to what I was already scammed at in the beginning. So, on top of all of that, okay, the ring has been, I know this ring was lost in the closet, okay, the, the band portion was. This ring has been in this box. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you up close this way, but I don't know if it'll really focus, and then I'll turn the camera around and show you. But, this ring is so terrible that, and I clean it. I would take it out of this box and clean it every couple of months, even though I wasn't wearing it, uh, because, I don't know, I just thought it's, they told me to just keep it clean, so I listened to them, I don't know why, um, but I would clean it every couple months with the cleaner that they sold me, and um, it is extremely, extremely, like, tarnished, ruined, and, like, I only wore it for, I don't know how many months before 
I stopped wearing it. So I'm going to kind of show you up here. I don't know if it's really going to show you, but it's brown and it has, I don't know, tons of like blackish marks all over it. And it is just extremely, extremely like ruined. Like the silver is ruined and I don't know how that's even possible. Um, since it just sat in a box and I would clean it every once in a while with the cleaner and then the one piece did sit in my closet and I feel like this piece that sat in a box is worse than this piece that was sitting in my closet that I eventually did find when I moved out of my old house. So in the end, I feel like my cheapy rings that I've bought from Walmart and um, Wish have lasted me so much longer and they have been so much more durable than these little crusty rings from Zales. And I will never, ever, ever, ever buy anything from Zales. This ring here I bought from Walmart and I've had it for, I think, um, five years. And there's like, it's, it's, I bought it in a costume jewelry area, quote unquote, that they have there that they call costume jewelry. And I paid $9.99 for this. And this ring, everybody thinks this ring is real. It, the diamond this whatever fake sapphires look way nicer and shinier than this one as you can see um and there's no discoloration to it nothing i have worn this in swimming pools i've worn it in hot tubs i've worn it in a shower i'll wear it for days it does not or you know anytime it does not turn my finger green there's no diamonds missing none of them are loose or anything like that and i paid ten dollars for this at Walmart. so in the end i kind of feel like it's better off for me to, and I have a ring, a new ring from Wish that I bought, and I'm going to do a video all about it because it is amazing, and I've had it already for a couple months, and it is just beautiful. This one does not fit me anymore. Um, as you can see, the finger size is really small, but um, yeah, I'm going to give you some close-ups of this ring that's from Zales, so you can see it, and then I'll show you guys this ring from Walmart, too, so you can see the difference of paying $9.99 for something and actually getting your money's worth it or paying, like, $200 for a ring and a thingamabob a warranty and getting garbage. So, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you never shop at Zales. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. They probably sell really good stuff there. I don't know. I don't know at all because I have not gone back there and I don't think I will ever go back there. Maybe to get my ring sized for free since I better use my warranty and get it cleaned up. But I don't think I will ever wear this ring so I don't know. I don't know if I'd really honestly go back there because it's just so ruined from sitting in a box. But anyways, click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, and be on the lookout for some more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. One more thing that I forgot to mention, I'm going to get my light here and put it on the ring so you can kind of quote unquote see, is that the diamond, so quote unquote diamond, sapphire, this piece, is actually crooked on there too. So I don't even know if you could honestly tell, but this piece is kind of tilted like that way. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think... I, I just, I literally just got the living daylight scammed out of me. Um, but you can kind of see the tarnishment in this light rather than using this other light that I, my vlogging light on there. You can see it even has like a yellow discoloration to it. Like I said, this is the Walmart ring, like, and it is nothing wrong with it at all. And I didn't show the front of the box. I did drop it the other day, but yep. I will never shop again at sales. Just saying.